Hi everyone, I'm Kate Wu. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to paint these chrysanthemum and a bird. Let's get started. I'll start painting the chrysanthemum, which is mainly in yellow with a bit of touch up of orange at the tip of the brush. I'm going to start with the core of the flower. Chrysanthemum is one of the four gentleman flowers in Chinese culture. It is an autumn flower that braves the tough cold weather. That's the reason why some ancient poets loved the uprightness and vitality nature of this flower. Yellow is one of the original color of chrysanthemum and also a preferred color because phonetically it sounds the same as royal king in Chinese. Chrysanthemums were also cultivated in Japan, where many flower shapes, colors, and varieties were created. During the late 19th century to early 20th centuries, cultivators managed to grow flowers over 20 centimeters in diameter, making it a trending flower. So there are a lot of that we can explore together. I am going to paint another one here and speed it up so that you don't get bored. I will paint some leaves and stems to create the basic composition. The green color is a mix of yellow and blue because there is no green color in traditional Chinese color blocks. The green leaves grow in an alternating pattern and are divided into leaflets with serrated edges. There are different ways of painting the flowers and the leaves. You may paint it with just ink too. This is just the way that I paint it. Since the leaves are deeply locked, so I'm adding some black ink to outline the veins. I'm adding a flying bird. Since the flowers are the heroes in this painting, I will be using a more subtle color, brown and black for the bird. The beak is always in black. Then a thin line for the chest. Pressure brush to create this fanless stroke for the fluffy feather. Then take just ink for the wings. I'm adding a few strokes and touch up with some finer details like small leaves, dots, to make it more interesting. As always, I will show you some close-up shots at the end of the video so that you can take a closer look at the shadings and gradient of each stroke. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.